am Lori Boudreau. I live at 10309 Tanrara Drive. I hope everyone had a nice Thanksgiving. There is obviously disagreement uh, tonight regarding the assessment of the superintendent. However, the controversial issue that I would like to address this evening pertains to the decision to make an extension determination tonight when there are two years remaining on the superintendent's current contract. Two years is a long time. Much can happen in a two-year period of time. Things can get much better. Things can get much worse. I'm not sure what can be gained by making this decision now. There will be plenty of time to ascertain whether to extend or not to extend during that two years. Again, I am asking not yes, not no, just not yet also. It appears that a decision regarding this issue tonight is a gamble with taxpayer dollars and is fiscally irresponsible. Now, this may be how the board has always done things, the ordinary way of doing things. However, we must strive for the out of the ordinary in order to achieve extraordinary. In order to achieve ex exceptional schools, we must take out of ordinary actions sometimes. I realize that I'm just one person. However, as some of you are aware, I recently submitted a petition to run for the Knox County School Board of Education District 5 position. Consequently, I surveyed not 900, but 61 uh, individuals that were random, randomly selected in District 5. The following question was asked. Realizing the superintendent has two years remaining on a on his current contract, do you think the board should make a decision tonight regarding the extension issue? Uh, I interviewed 19 males, 42 females, at least one child and one or one grandchild, uh, each person that was interviewed had in the Knox County school system. 48 said the decision should be postponed. Seven stated they didn't know, were unsure, or had no comment and six said the decision should be made. I just wanted to share these results with you, knowing that you are a voice for the community that you serve and that you're not simply on a mission to promote your own personal agendas. If a decision has to be made tonight, I ask that you deny Dr. McIntyre an extension past 2017, citing major accountability concerns and my concerns regarding the Leadership Academy, um, it, it seems it's the business of promoting hand-picked candidates, oftentimes with no requirement for previous teaching experience. Um, and then also uh, people that are, account, uh, that are appointed to positions for which they don't have credentials, and they're paid when there's plenty of people that have the credentials and are not put in those positions. Thank you for your time and consideration. Thank you.